I'm Chibi Tokoa, little gold crow. And you're being invited in to gather around the virtual fireside with our community of Tree of Totems, which is a motley crew of misfits and nature lovers, elders, indigenous and non-indigenous people who are coming together in these meaningful ways, these cultural ways to really stir and activate that which is yet held in our bone memory. That is how we are yet an extension of the earth's dreaming, how to live in a good way, how to nourish what we love so what we love can continue to nourish us. Or as the Dene say, also to walk in beauty. Now here we are in what was known as the womb of the long night, that is winter solstice. And it was known that this was a time of great magic and great potency, is when the seeds of the dreamings are searching to find a place within us that they can take root, sprout and bloom through us into the new year. But there's a kind of call and response that is required in this process, a sense of needing to court the dreaming in. And the way we would do this traditionally was through story. We gather around the fireside, through storytelling, through ritual, through reflective dialogue. We help to create the space inside of us. See, these old fairy tales and these old stories, they're not there for entertainment they're there to wake us up see before they were stories it was known that they were actually rituals people enacted but they went into story form when colonization had to spread across europe suppressing a lot of the pagan rituals especially these times of year when we would do ritual that wove us back into the deeper meaning and the cycles of our own life so we are restoring these cultural ways. This is our radical activism. And so you're being invited in. And we're going to lean into a very particular story. And this story has a way of entering us through its mythic imagery and its archetypes and symbols. It has a way of breaking spells. Breaking the spells that have been cast over us that we couldn't quite see. That has limited and bind us. And as we find those threads that have bound us, we're able to suddenly let these dreamings take up residency. And we find how to tend to them and nourish them into this coming year. And so this whole experience is we are taking the story, the white serpent, and we're bringing it back into a ritual form where there's going to be action. There's going to be uh, you're going to be invited in order to initiate. See, to initiation means new beginnings. To initiate means to begin. So these kind of stories are a way to initiate the dreamings that are ready to take root and bloom through you. So this is a magical experience. You're invited to join us in festive spirits, ready to reflect in deep ways, be in meaningful community, and start out the new year with the first fire of 2023. Yes. <laughs> All right. I look forward to seeing you fireside. Oh.